Hey guys, so this is the story of how I got my mount in World of Warcraft. So, I finally got my mount. Hooray! Oh my goodness. And, you know, I'm absolutely um, loving my mount so far. It obviously gives me plus 60% speed. I was um, going to go to the Shimmering Flats to um, get the carrot, which will give me a small speed boost for my mount, which I think is 3%. So, I haven't got that yet, but um, that's sort of on my to-do list. So, I wanted to um, walk you through how I actually got my um, mount in the end, um, because I found a really good place to actually grind and get quite a lot of money. Um, so, I'm obviously... ...a Tauren, so my mount is my Kodo here. And I'm really, I'm really loving the Kodo, it's great. I mean, it kind of feels like a, a tank, basically. So, you know, that's kind of pretty cool. You know, one of those sort of tanks from Halo. I've made other videos about making gold, um, which you, you guys should definitely check out because they were sort of involved with me getting this um, mount. So I wanted to um, share with you the most effective way I found of actually making gold in the game. World of Warcraft Classic has a non-linear returns. So in other words, um, higher level mobs give you more money. If you get to level 40 and you don't have your... Um, enough money to actually buy a mount, then, you know, don't worry because I certainly didn't. You know, it's taken me till level 45 to actually get me enough money together. But I, I did find um, a really good way of actually earning money, um, which I'm going to share with you today. So what is this mystery method of making gold? Well, this will work if you're Horde or Alliance, and you need to be about level 40 to 45 to farm these. They're based in Tenaris, so let's have a little look for me um map. Tanaris is um down here. This is the um area where the mob that I found most valuable actually sort of lives, I guess. So what could this mystery mob be? Drum roll please. Basilisks! Yes! Those amazing crocodile dudes. I ended up loving um, Basilisks because they actually drop 17 silver, so um, you get about 10 to 17 silver just from the great items that these drop. So getting your mount, right, will cost you about 90 gold in total. Now, because I'm a Tauren, I actually got my mount from um, Bloodhoof Village, which, as you guys can see, is just here. And it was great actually getting it. I probably should have recorded it, but, uh, you know... <laughs> sort of in hindsight, well, maybe next time I sort of level up. If I ever level up again, I'll sort of record it. But getting your mount will cost you about 90 gold, as I said, which equals about 9,000 silver. So if you were to raise all of your money from basilisks, you would need to kill about 600 of the scaly guys. That may seem like a lot, but remember, you'll still get random drops from them too, so let's assume that the number's actually closer to 500. Now, again, this is still quite a big number, but you're going to be killing other mobs and stuff. Um, and you're obviously going to be raising money in different ways. But, you know, nevertheless, that's not too bad. So, let's assume, right, you're a warrior like me, and you can kill about one basilisk a minute, right? You should be able to um, raise the full 90 gold in about 8 hours. That's not too bad, actually. Because, in other words, you, get, you can um, earn about 11 gold, 27... Sorry, 11 gold, 25 silver an hour. You know, which I actually think is pretty darn good. Just from grinding alone. And, you know, you're still going to get your random drops and stuff. So, obviously, if you're a warrior like me, it might take you a bit longer to farm. Um, if you're a mage or a hunter or another class, it might be a bit easier for you to farm your mount. But, yeah, this is the best method I've found for um, warriors anyway. Now, there's some other good things about Tenaris too. So, for example, if you're into cooking, there's a lot of different um, meat around the area that you can cook. And, by the way, you should check out my other videos because it's worth cooking the meat because you can get about three um, silver per item that you cook. So, again, that's not too bad. The dog meat and the turtle meat is also pretty valuable in this area. And I've killed a lot of turtles, and they seem to have quite a good epic drop rate in my experience. They're actually down the coast of Tanaris, as you guys probably know. Just down this, um, down this coast here. As you guys can see, I've also got Gatherer on. I suppose just whilst I'm here, there's another area, or Dust Wallow Marsh, 
um, which I found really um, good. So if you are a miner, then this um, mine up here um, is full of spiders and you can kill them fairly easily and they actually drop about five silver per spider just in terms of um, grey items, which isn't bad. And also there's um, a lot of ore in here too, so that's quite a fun place to actually farm. Um, I went there as um, quite a high level and found sort of killing the spiders pretty easy, but I also leveled up really quick just killing me spiders. That's another tip for warriors. If you actually kill sort of um, green slash yellow, so kind of on the border, um, creeps are a lot easier to kill and you can actually get a lot more XP overall than if you were farming sort of more elite mobs. I'm trying to level up my blacksmithing now guys so I've actually come along to the Desolus right. Um, maybe I'm slightly um, a bit too high for some of the um, mobs here but you know there's some um, you know good mining to be had around here and now I've got my mount it's so much easier so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys um, hope you enjoyed this and yeah happy farming hey guys just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe um give this a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down it's up to you entirely but uh yeah please uh let me know in the comments what you thought and thank you very much for watching